Hey guys, welcome to our channel once again. In this video, I'm going to be talking about top five cheapest colleges in Canada that all international applicants should aim towards applying to, okay? Especially those who see Canada as a relocation destination and they have been looking for ways to apply. Now, there is no age restrictions to any program that you can apply for in these colleges. And um, some of these colleges, you have the opportunity to be able to move with your family. Now, this means that uh, whether you have ordinary high school certificate or whether you have completed your first degree, you have your BSc already, or whether you only have HND or ND certificates, even if you have gone ahead to do your master's program, meaning you already have your master certificate at hand, you can use it to apply to any of these top five cheapest college in Canada. Now, of course, in this college, you can apply for any diploma program in any discipline, uh, healthcare assistant, social work, any program or any discipline whatsoever, you can apply for postgraduate uh, uh, diploma program. You can even apply for postgraduate diploma certifications in any of these colleges. And of course, we all know that uh, many colleges in Canada have tuition fee around 15,000 Canadian dollar up to 20 to 25,000 Canadian dollar, depending on the city or province in which these colleges are located, especially some international applicants cannot afford university educations with respect to uh, relocation plans. So they don't have that capacity to be able to afford university education or afford paying these high tuition fees in some of these colleges in some province in Canada. So that is why I did extensive research looking out for cheapest college that all international applicants need to start researching into. And the beauty of some of this college is that admissions, you can you will, you will normally receive notifications of admissions within two to three weeks of submitting all your document for any program in any of this college. So if you have high school certificate, um, you can apply. If you have completed your uh, BSc degree programs or HND or even ND programs, if you have ND certificate, you can apply. If you have even gone ahead to do your master, you can apply to any of these programs in any of these colleges. So which means everybody can apply. You have no excuse whatsoever to not apply to any of these programs or courses in any of these colleges. Now, another beauty of it is that in these colleges, if you are coming from any English speaking country, that means you are not required to submit any test of English language certifications. You are also not required to submit GRE like some colleges in some province in Canada will require all international applicants to submit. So GRE is not required from anyone. Now, the, 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 in these colleges, they have many campuses in different provinces, and of course, so that means that you need to do your own extensive research to be able to look at which province in Canada that this college that you are interested in have campuses because of the cost of living, especially as an international applicant, if you are looking to apply to any of this college, look for a province in Canada that the cost of living with respect to accommodation, feeding, and some other essential uh, living expenses is required. Look for province that the cost of living is very, very, very low. That way, you will not struggle for you to be able to, you know, uh, school and also look for other job opportunity in Canada. And another good thing is this. After your program for some of the courses in these colleges, you will have an opportunity to apply or even the school themselves as support. They support postgraduate work permit for some of the courses that you are going to be doing in this college. So which means after you're done with your courses or your program, you have an opportunity to apply for postgraduate work permits. And as I said, the cost of living in some of these campuses in I mean, in some of these campuses for these colleges 
are very, very low. So you need to do your own extensive research online to ensure that the college or campus you are applying to have a very, very um, low cost of living. So that way you'll be able to you know, gather extensive information. So on this video, I'm going to be showing to you top five cheapest tuition fees in, in Canada, top five colleges with lower tuition fees in, in Canada. And I will also be showing to you, you know, some uh, scholarship opportunities that they have available. So which means even if their tuition fee are very, very low in some of these colleges in Canada, that does not mean that you cannot apply for their uh, scholarship opportunities because you can be lucky such that you are moving into Canada with a fully paid tuition fee. And some of these colleges, based on my research, have many scholarship and external funding opportunities available for all international applicants to be able to latch into. So, and as I said, you can also move with your family. So if you have a family and don't want to leave them behind, you can move with your family to Canada with a uh, diploma or any program courses that you apply for in any of these top five cheapest colleges in Canada. And of course, if you are just coming across our channel, this is Jackpa with your days. On this channel, we provide relevant, cheap and affordable relocation opportunities to all our viewers. So if you are a returning subscribers, thank you very, very much for subscribing to our channel. And if you're just seeing our channel for the first time, like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop opportunities and informations like this, you will be the first person to get notifications. So come with me. Let me quickly show you some of these top five cheapest colleges in Canada. And please, 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 please give this video a thumbs up and a like. That is how the YouTube algorithm recognize that this video is very, very important and it is providing important information to the general public. Please give this video a thumbs up and share it to your loved ones. So let's quickly check these top five cheapest colleges in Canada together. The first college on my list is called College of North Atlantic. College of North Atlantic. And these are the program courses that they have available. And let's quickly check some of the programs available. Of course, you can sort depending on the type of programs that you want to apply for, but I'm going to be leaving it open. So we have um, accelerated software development is a post, uh, post graduate diploma course. Accounting is a diploma course. And then they have accounting and financial uh, uh, management is a diploma course, adult learning and teaching innovations, you know, advanced care paramed uh, paramedic and uh, paramedicine, agricultural te technician, aircraft maintenance, engineering technician, you know, applied music. So the list goes on and on and on and on. Baking and pastry at business administration is a diploma course. Carpentry certificate is a diploma, sorry, it's a certification course civil engineering technology. So the list goes on and on. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to bore you with reading these colleges and the different programs that they have available. They have so many data analytics, digital animation. They have so many courses available, top rated courses that when you are done with these courses, you will be able to easily get a postgraduate work permit and get a job easily in Canada. So those are the courses that they have available. And of course, I'm going to be leaving the links to each of these top five colleges in Canada, top five cheapest colleges in Canada on the video description so that you can do extensive research by yourself. So these are the courses that they have available. Let's quickly check their tuition fee. Their tuition fee, yes. Uh, of course, when you apply to any of these courses, you pay an application fee of uh, 100 Canadian dollar application fee, and it is a non-refundable application fee. So, and of course, when you confirm your place, you, are, you have to pay at least $103 Canadian fee. And let's quickly check the, of course, let's check the tuition fee. Now, depending on the type of course or programs that you are applying for per semester, this is what you are paying per semester, okay? So, which means at the end of your program, 
you are likely going to be paying less than or max 9,000 9, Canadian dollar for, a, for, a, for an academic year. Yes, of course, because every year it has two semester, fall semester and uh, uh, winter semester. So, and of course you are expected to pay for each semester programs that you apply for. So for instance, academic and apply art and tourism per semester, you are expected to pay $4,363. And of course they have uh, business and information technology per semester, 4,270. So that's why I said all in all within a semester, the payment of um, uh, tuition fee and everything re relating to financial cost to you is less than 10,000 Canadian dollars. So, uh, and of course they have engineering technology per semester. This is what you pay per semester. And some of these diploma courses are two years. Some of them, they have it for three years. So depending on the number of years that you want to go for, for any of the programs that you you apply for that you are applying for you need to check how much you'll be paying per semester that way you'll be able to calculate how much is required from you to have as a proof of funds or to have as a tuition fee so this is what you are expected to pay depending on the courses that you want to apply for per semester and that is for the college of north Atlantic. Now let's look at another college. Another college. This is the second college. It is called NBCC. NBCC means New Brunswick Community College. New Brunswick Community College. And these are the courses that they have available. Don't forget that each of these colleges have different campuses in different provinces in Canada. As I said earlier, so you need to look at which province you are applying for, particularly Province that have lower standard or lower cost of living. Yes, lower cost of living. It will really, really help your financial expenses when you get to these campuses because some of these provinces have higher standard of living. So which means the cost of rent, cost of feeding and some other things might be very, very high when you compare them to other province. So, and yes, this is uh, different programs that they have available, and these are the corresponding campuses for each of the programs that they have available. They have applied energy management, applied construction management, animation and graphics, you know, automotive uh, uh, technology, they have carpentry, they have um, client service and sales, civil engineering technology, civil engineering technician, child and youth care, electrical constructions, I mean, the list goes on and on. So I'm not going to bore you with reading the list for each of these courses. Another thing, just before I forget, another thing is this, they have different resumption timeline for each of these colleges. So some people might want to resume by uh, uh, fall, some people might want to resume by winter, some people might want to res resume by uh, um, uh, uh, fall, uh, winter, or spring, different resumption timelines. So you need to check which resumption timeline you are applying for you know, in order to be able to gather all the essential documents that you need to be able to apply for your study permit to Canada. So, you, I mean, this information, that's why I said you need to do your own extensive research. That's why we're providing the link to each of these colleges. If you see Canada as your relocation destination and you really want to go for it. So these are the corresponding courses and programs that they have available at New Brunswick Community College. Now let's quickly check the tuition fee for international students. This is the international student session. So for fall semester, which usually or normally start around September or October of every year, for, I mean, for this semester, you are expected to pay 4883 thousand Canadian dollar, 4,883,000 4, Canadian dollar. And winter term, you are supposed to pay almost this, I mean, the same thing, 4,883. So which means in total, you are paying less than 10,000 Canadian dollar as your tuition fee, less than 10,000 Canadian dollar as your tuition fee. So you see, I mean, these are some of the cheapest tuition fee that you can find. And one of the beauty of it is this: some colleges allow instrumental payment, maybe three instrumental payment, four instrumental payment. But of course, when you are confirming your space in some of these schools, you will pay at least maybe one thousand Canadian dollar to confirm your space, or two thousand Canadian dollar to confirm your space. 
and you can spread the rest across two installments or three installments in some of these colleges. But of course, you can find this out when you are offered uh, your admissions or when you are offered a place. So this is the second colleges in Canada. Let's quickly look at the uh, third college. Third college in Canada is called Oland College. Oland College. And these are the full-time programs that they have available, bioscience, technology, fundamental art, graphic design, music performance, journalism and communication, conserva conservation enforcement, accounting technology, administrative assistance, business administration, legal administration, child and youth care worker, early childhood care and education, human services, engineering, power engineering. I mean, the list goes on and on. You know, you can do practical nursing, you can do extensive information, depending on what program you want to apply for, you can do extensive research by yourself. Let's quickly check their tuition fee for international students. Tuition fee for international students, it says here, international fees, 5,100 euro for first year student, 5,100 euro for first year student, and 5,000 Canadian dollar for second year students. So which means on the second year, you are paying 5,000 5, uh, Canadian dollar for second year. So depending on the number of year or the number of um, uh, uh, um, years that you want to apply for. So first year you pay 5,100 Canadian dollar and second year you pay 5,000 Canadian dollar. And of course there are some other maybe, uh, um, you know, corresponding fee that are associated to some of these courses like medical and dental, 445 uh, Canadian dollar. All international students also pay 750 Canadian dollar for international health insurance. So yes, I mean, this tuition is very, very affordable. International student fee is 5,100 5, Canadian dollar for first year students, so which means per semester, you are expected to pay around 2,500 uh, 2, Canadian dollar per semester. I mean, fall semester or, uh, and uh, uh, winter semester. So yes, I mean, I think this is quite affordable. This is for Oland College. And of course, you can also do extensive research regarding what is required of you to confirm your place when you are offered admission. Now, that is the, this is the third, College, yes, this is the third college. Now, let's quickly look at the fourth college that I'm going to be talking about today. It is called Northern Light College. Northern Light College. Let's quickly check some of the programs that they have available. You see practical nursing, they have in accounting, agriculture, they have aircraft maintenance technician, you know, they have anthropology courses, they have applied business technology courses, they have archaeology courses, automotive service courses, automotive service apprenticeship, they have biology, they have building maintenance, business management, I mean, carpentry courses, many diploma courses, computer science courses, many diploma courses they have available at Northern Light College in Canada. And yes, the corresponding tuition fee is, as you are seeing, on my screen right here. And for international students, they are charging per hours of contact. So, I mean, I, I'm not very, I mean, I don't really have too much information, particularly how they charge per hour of contact. For instance, they said for this, they are charging 13.65 uh, 13 Canadian dollar per hour of contact. So, it is possible, I mean, this probably means, for, I mean, and it is depending on the courses that you're applying for anyway, for instance, practical nursing in diploma, they are charging 20, 20 Canadian dollar per hour of contract. So it is possible that per hour of the courses, if you if your courses is, for instance, say a three unit course, which would go around maybe three hours per, uh, per, per sessions and you know so which means per hours of these sessions you are you are eligible to pay at least uh, uh, 60 uh, 60 Canadian dollar for say as an example practical nursing department but or, I mean you can find in extension because I when I did my calculation everything is still around less is still less than 
10,000 Canadian dollar. So, but of course, you can do extensive research depending on the program or the courses that you are applying for. That is what we determine how much you'll be paying per hour of contact. And you can also check their calculation to see how they calculate per hour of contact and how much you'll be paying for your own um, tuition fee for the courses or diploma courses that you will be applying for at any of these colleges. The last college on my list is called Medicine Arts College. Medicine Arts College. And let's quickly check some of the programs that they have available for diploma. So depending on the course that you want to apply for, you can you know, sort them or filter them here. I've already filtered based on diploma and certificate. So I'm, I'm having here, Advanced Accounting Program is a postgraduate diploma course administrative office management, aviation management, built environment, engineering technician, business administration, criminal justice, computer aided tracking and design, child and youth care counselor is a diploma course, business analysis for business, early learning and child care. So I mean, the list goes on and on and on. You can check them depending on the course that you want to apply for. So let's quickly check what tuition you are expected to pay. So Depending on the course that you are applying for, that is what we determine how much you will be paying at this college. So, uh, for instance, uh, for some of the courses, the, the tuition fee that you are expected to pay is as low as $9,704 per, per, per year. And then they have as high as uh, 17000 16000 But they have some lower courses as well. That ranges between 12,000 Canadian dollar, 10,000 Canadian dollar, and then 9,000 Canadian dollar. So it depends on the course that you want to apply for that will determine how much you'll be expected to pay per year. So you can do your own extensive research. And as I said, ensure that you also check their scholarship opportunity. For instance, in this school, they also have scholarship opportunity, financial aid for all international applicants. And you can go to the financial aid session to check what financial aid or what financial opportunity they have available in this school. So each of these schools have financial support, financial aid for all international applicants. New Brunswick have their own scholarship and bursary opportunity. If you go to a uh, 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 College of North Atlantic, they also have their own scholarship opportunity. So you can check them out to see what scholarship opportunity is available. And, you know, I, I mean, do extensive research to see which academic session you'll be going for because different academic session will be collapse with the uh, scholarship opportunity that they have available so that you'll be able to plan yourself and your uh, applications for any of the colleges that you want to apply for. So yes, we've quickly talked about five cheap colleges in Canada that all international applicants can apply for. And we've also checked some few of them that have scholarship page that every international applicants can also look into. They all, all of them have external funding or scholarship opportunities available. So you can do extensive research in your spare time. As I said, the link will be available on the video description so that it will aid your own research. And if you have, you know, some of, if you have some questions that you feel uh, you would like us to assist you with, you can drop them on our comment session. We will try as much as possible to provide uh, uh, answers to them as we know them. Some of them we will not be able to provide answers to them because we don't have this information. But the good thing is the school links is available on the video description. So which means you can get in contact directly with them to get answers to any clarifications or questions that you might have, okay? And uh, don't forget, this is Jack Bauer with your days. On this channel, we provide relevant and cheap relocation informations and opportunities to all our viewers and loyal subscribers to aid your Jackpot plan. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you have not already done so. And we will also like to connect with you. Let us know where you are watching our video from so that we'll be able to see if, you know, some informations and opportunities are particularly relevant 
to your region. Give this video a thumbs up. It will help the YouTube management algorithm to you know, see that this information is very, very relevant to the general public. Thank you very, very much for watching once again. So we we'll come your way next time with another cheap relocation opportunities to any choice European countries. Bye-bye for now.